U.S. Navy destroyers dispatched to Aleutians after Chinese, Russian vessels spotted nearby. Here's a summary of the article. Anchorage, Alaska. Four U.S. Navy warships were recently dispatched to the Aleutian Islands following an incursion of 11 foreign military vessels in American waters. Speaking by phone on Saturday, Senator Dan Sullivan confirmed the event happened, within the last few days, and that while the military response was robust, four naval destroyers were dispatched to the ship's location, it was also uncommon. First, this is unprecedented, not just for Alaska, but for America to have 11 warships jointly being operated by the Chinese and Russians, who are increasingly working together, essentially doing freedom of navigation and navigation operations incursions into Alaska's area, Sullivan said. The four naval destroyers dispatched this month had far more air and water resources at their disposal than what the Coast Guard is capable of providing, and could highlight a need to establish a U.S. Navy base in the far north. Geopolitical dominance in the Arctic could come down to who has more assets to defend their territory, and as it stands, Alaska is outmatched by the Russian fleet. As a state with more coastline than the rest of the country combined, and half a dozen Coast Guard, Space Force, Army, and Air Force bases, it could seem disadvantageous that Alaska lacks a Navy base. The way in which that is going to be built, the way in which that is going to be designed, and I've been, like I said, Involved in this for a number of years with a great community of Nome, and the Navy and the Coast Guard, is that the design of that port will be able to handle every type of Navy and Coast Guard vessel in the inventory, with the exception of a U.S. aircraft carrier, so all the destroyers, all the icebreakers, all the national security cutters. This post received a score of 14,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. A U.S. ship, a Russian ship, and a Chinese ship meet in Aleutian waters. It is a tense moment. The American ship plays stars and stripes on loudspeakers. The Chinese ship broadcasts propaganda on radio. The Russian ship sinks. Reminds me of a Jaffa joke I once heard. Jaffa jokes? Let's hear one. A serpent guard, a Horus guard and a Setesh guard meet on a neutral planet. It is a tense moment. The serpent guard's eyes glow. The Horus Guard's beak glistens. The Setesh Guard's nose drips. Ha 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 ha. Indeed. You say that a lot. Raises eyebrow I had not noticed. Indeed. Four U.S. Navy warships were recently dispatched to the Aleutian Islands following an incursion of 11 foreign military vessels in American waters. The exact time and location of the incursion was not made public and information about the event is still being declassified. Interesting. We talking EZ or actually into territorial waters? If it's territorial waters, they'll need to watch out for those Alaskans. They're all armed. You never know if someone has a harpoon or two under the bed. Gotta be e easy. Moving into actual territorial waters would result in a lot more press coverage, including all the big news networks sounding alarms. People would get hawkish real fast. The response would be larger than four destroyers as well. I'm sure there are subs there too, right? Don't they always send in those sneaky boys all sneaky like without telling anyone? That's what I'd do if I had a fleet of those sneaky boys. The great military tactician, you, cum underscore fart underscore 69. Uneronically probably the most navy username in the thread. I have arrived. Who promoted this guy to rear admiral? I wonder when Russia begins to start saying Alaska was their historic land. They put billboards up saying that last March and April 2022. They had kids singing songs about it. Old song about it lol. Kinda slaps NGL. It's important for propaganda to slap so it sticks. U.S. dispatches decoys. There's probably a U.S. sub there already. There's probably been a sub tailing them since they left port. Not to mention a couple drones and who knows how many satellites watching him even before that. The Americans like to keep constant watch over all military assets using satellite. The positions of each naval ship and army battalion are probably kept track of by a team. They probably also watch airbases for aircraft that leave and arrive. Americans are paranoid like that. I like to wear a condom during sex to not have kids. I'm paranoid like that greater than could highlight a need to establish a U.S. Navy base in the far north. I mean, strategically speaking.
there should already be one. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.